I started working with totem poles after we took a trip to the Pacific Northwest and we visited Canada. And I was so inspired by the um, totems that had been left behind by the indigenous people there. So when I got back home, I really wanted to incorporate that idea in my work some way. I try to capture the essence of some of the animals that I put on and I usually include, I always include birds, but sometimes I include fish or frogs or snakes. My favorite thing about clay is the tactile feel of the medium and the responsiveness of the clay to my hands. Once I make the piece, it has to dry. Once it's dry, it goes into the kiln, it's fired. When it comes out of the kiln, it is glazed and then it's fired again. The structure of the totem poles are such that I need a hole at the top and the bottom of each bead and they're placed onto an, an iron rod that's driven in the ground. One of the things I love most about the totem poles is the presence that they make in my garden and the splash of color that they add to the landscape and I love for them to be among their living counterparts.